I don't know uh, what I can tell you about yesterday other than the fact that we were disappointed in it. Uh, we needed to go down and uh, play a better game than we played. And we were in the game at the halftime. And then in the second half, uh, we weren't able to, to get much done in the second half. Uh, and the score got out of hand uh, as a result of it. Um, you know, we are a one in five football team, and that means you're not very good. Uh, we're working to try to get better. We will continue to work to get better uh, as we focus on this bye week and see uh, how we can improve things. Um, but as you look at the game, me personally, I was disappointed with the first quarter uh, and the penalties that we had in the first quarter because I expect more from our guys as far as the decisions they make as it relates to penalties uh, in field position uh, because it's, uh, field position is critical and it's important. And i uh, been talking to them about it and thought that they understood um, the importance of field position. Uh, it was not a lack of effort or they didn't do it maliciously. They were trying to play football, but they made some bad choices as it related to penalties. Uh, and so that hurt us. Uh, the other thing that hurt us in the course of the, the day was we were in position to make plays on the ball, and we were not able to make plays on the ball. Uh, it's not like guys were wide open and we weren't covering them. We were in position, and I expected us to make plays and uh, thought we should have intercepted a couple of those balls. but. Uh, they made the play, and, and we didn't. And as a result of it, it ended up in chunks of yards that that they were able to, to gain. And it was a touchdown on one and a couple chunks of yards on the others. Uh, and that hurt us as far as field position, momentum, and all those things were concerned. Um, but we still have to continue to work to get better and be able to make those plays because at least we're in position to make them. And now, if we make them, then that will help our momentum, help our field position, and, and help our chances uh, to win. The quarterback, Brady, I thought that um, he was a little rusty, but he managed the game, managed the team. Um, I think with, uh, if he had had more time, I think that the rust would have been knocked off, but he didn't have much time. So uh, he did the best we, he could with the time that he had uh, to prepare for this game. Uh, you know, the, in the running game, we weren't able to run the ball as, as effectively as we had been running the ball. Uh, you have to give their defense credit because their defense was pretty active uh, and uh, did some things along the line of scrimmage that, that impacted our running game. Uh, so. But the bottom line is the bottom line. We lost the game and, and this business is did you win or did you lose? And uh, we did not win. And so we're going to go forward and try to improve it, try to get it better, and try to win. That's what we're going to do. With that, I'll open it up. Romeo, uh, you've said twice, including after this game, after the game, with, that you don't understand why the team has played as badly as it's played. I'm curious why fans should believe then that you'll be able to fix why the team. Well, you, you know, I was referring to that first quarter where it's important in the game uh, to get off to a good start, particularly when you're on the road. And we had like five penalties, I believe, in that first quarter. And that was disappointing to me um, because I expect better and I expect more from the players. And for them, to make those choices that hurt us in field position, um, I, I just didn't like it. Um, and, and what I know about this business is that you have to keep working with your guys, keep harping with your guys, uh, keep trying to knock it into their head, you know, what you want them to do. And eventually they get it. You know, they don't always get it right away, but eventually they get it. and. Uh, I'm hoping that we will get it soon. So is the answer then more of the same in your mind, the status quo? Oh, no. See, I didn't say that. I'm just asking. You said you, you 
keep working at it and eventually that, you'll get it. That's what you have to do. You have to keep working at it. If I don't keep working at it, then I might as well pack up my bags and go home. All right, but I'm going to keep working at it. I'm going to try to get these guys better, and then the team will be better as a result of it. Were you disappointed at all in the uh, effort level the last couple of drives? It seemed like maybe the team uh, kind of packed it in a little bit. Yeah, I was disappointed in the effort there. We were not as disciplined as we needed to be uh, defensively uh, to be able to stop those guys from scoring those couple of touchdowns that they scored then. Uh, and I was disappointed in that. So, uh, some of it was guys were trying to make plays, not that they didn't give effort, but they were trying to make a play and they got out of position. Um, you know, sometimes it may be we run up the field or the linebacker might try to run through to make a play and get picked off by a tackle. And so some of those things occurred that allowed them to score. Romeo, if, if Matt is ready to go uh, in time for your next game against Oakland here, will he start? That's a hypothetical, all right? And Matt has not been cleared to practice yet. Uh, when Matt is clear to practice football, then we will evaluate and then we'll make the decision at that time. Have you been getting any uh, encouragement from anyone uh, above you in the hierarchy to play Matt, to stick with Matt? Encouragement, no. Pressure, I'm trying to use a softer word than pressure. No, <laughs> no, I, I have not, you know. I, I decide, your, your I decide who plays, I decide who's active, I decide who's inactive, and I will evaluate the situation and I'll make the choice. What made you allow to have a seemingly a more balanced game plan with Brady at quarterback than a run-dependent game plan in the previous game with Matt at quarterback? You know, I've always said that it depends on what's going on in the game, you know, and when we couldn't run the ball as effectively, then you've got to try to mix some other things in. And if you can mix some play actions and some throws down the field in a little bit, that might open up the running game. But it, it didn't open up the running game, so the, the game plan ended up being more balanced because of, of what occurred. Was Jamal fully 100% yesterday? He seemed to come out of the, in and out of the game a little bit more than maybe he ordinarily does. Well, I mean, I don't know if any players are totally 100%. You know, uh, he's banged up a little bit but he's able to play, and when he needs to come out or when we take him out, he comes out, he catches a breather, gets some water, and then he's back in there. Romeo, you said something yesterday to the effect that if the talent does what we tell them to do, they'll be okay. Are, are the guys not doing what you guys are trying to get them to do? Not all the time. Yeah, not all the time. And, and uh, sometimes it's because they do things, they anticipate things. You know, we give them the game plan during the week and we say on this formation, this is what these guys have been doing. On this formation, this is what these guys have been doing. You know, and so they began to anticipate, okay, here's the formation that he said that this is what they're gonna do. All right, and so now he plays the play, but it's not that play. So now he's out of position, you know, and that creates a seam in the defense or a hole in the offense as well, you know. So sometimes that occurs. And so what the guys have to be is they have to be disciplined enough to do their job first before they help out. And, and that was happening in the fourth quarter. We weren't disciplined enough to do our job first and then try to help out. We tried to help out without doing our job, which creates seams. Steve Preston still excuse me. Excuse me. Is yes. Steve Preston not part of the, of the offense yesterday? No, Steve. Steve is a backup wide receiver. All right, right now, and the number of reps he gets, I don't know how many he's going to get, or when he's going to be called on, and when he's going to be needed. Uh, and and we've talked about it, and I said you just have to be ready when you're called on, and do the best you can. You know, when you get called, and that's the way every backup on the team has to do. There's a lot of backups on the team who they don't get reps, but if they get called on, they have to go in and play. Now your question. You mentioned that the players weren't disciplined enough later on. Like, how do you plan on instilling that discipline throughout the rest of the season? If they will play hard and do their job first, all right? And, and when I say, when I'm talking about not being disciplined enough, it's not being totally undisciplined. It's making some choices that normally you wouldn't make. Do your job first and then help out. 
All right. So if they do their job first, no matter what your circumstance is, and then help out, then we'll be better. All right. But if they try to help out first before doing their job, then there's going to be a seam somewhere. There's going to be a hole. And a lot of times the good, good teams find those holes. I guess what I'm saying is how do you get them to do what you're asking them to do, I guess? Practice and practice and practice, repetition and repetition. You've talked about trying to find an identity for this team. Are we closer to finding one? Well, I think that depends on what you mean by identity. Um, I mean, because some teams have an identity of running the football. Some teams have the identity of passing the football. Some teams have the identity of that they're a quarterback offense, you know? So I think your offense is, or your team is what it is, all right? What I have always said, I want tough, physical, smart football players, all right? And that's still what I want. Uh, I think we have some on this team. Um, and I think that, like I say, if they will do their job first and then help out, then we'll be able to make plays. Romeo, when you guys are sitting like this at one and five and you're struggling along, do you call anybody in the industry that, like, as a mentor and say, hey, any ideas, anything, anybody that you lean on? Well, there are a couple guys I can call and talk to, yeah. You ever that? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Do they have the Do same name? <laughs> <laughs> The offense hasn't no. scored a touchdown in, in two games. What can you do this week to to address that? Is there any are you, any new wrinkles? Are you thinking about changing anything? I know you changed quarterbacks, but are you thinking about changing offensive approach or anything like that? Well, I I think by adjusting the offensive approach uh, and becoming a more balanced offense, like was just mentioned, I think that that will help us. Uh, be able to be more effective on the offensive side of the ball. Because when you do one thing, like you run the ball, uh, and if you're not able to run the ball, then you're pigeonholed and they know exactly what you can do. So I think that we have to be able to mix it up more uh, offensively uh, to make defenses have to defend more things. And then, then um, by them having to defend more things and by spreading the ball around more, then maybe we can make some of those plays that this other team made against us. Romeo, at 0-2, you know, everybody said, hey, it's a, it's a long season. Let's not get too carried away. But now at 1-5, and five, knowing you just have 10 games left, do you feel like a sense of pressure like, hey, it's a, we must win now in order to salvage? Well, I think we must win, you know, so that we can win. And, and generate some confidence for this team uh, and for, for our fans, if nothing else, you know. And, and that's why that was one of the reasons I was disappointed about the penalties in the first quarter because, I mean, we're going against a team on the road and you don't want to give away anything on the road and we're giving up field position. And so uh, I was disappointed in that, you know. So, but I, I think you focus on the next game and you do everything you can to try to win the next game. And then you see and go from there. The fan base here is really up in arms. The one in five, uh, the Eric Winston controversy and the dishonor that some people think that it brought to the entire town across the nation. Are you going to talk to the players about trying to ignore that? You can't turn on the radio without hearing somebody say, fire the coach, fire the general manager, get a new owner. Do you address that with the players or, or do you just kind of try to you know, put on the blinders and, and forge ahead? Well, I think you put on the blinders and you try to forge ahead because there's nothing that we can do about what's said other than win a ball game. If we win a ball game, then some of those comments probably get tempered a little bit, you know, and then if we can win another one, they get tempered a little bit more. So that's the best thing that we can do is to win a ball game. Uh, and, and, you know, yesterday, the, those one, two, three plays where defensively we're in position, if we make any one of those plays or, or two of those, well, we should make all three of them, okay, because we're in position, but we don't make the play. If we make any one of those, probably it's a different game and we might be able to win the game because it's 7-3 at the half, you know, and their seven came off of a long touchdown pass, and that was one of those three that I was just talking about. You know, so if, if 
we're in position to make them. We just didn't make them, you know. Now, that still doesn't make it any easier. That still doesn't change a record. I understand that. But I can, I can, I can take from that that the guys are in position, that they're trying to do their job. Now I've got to take the next step with them and get them to be able to make the play rather than give up the play. A lot of the turnovers have been coming off of what seems to be mishandled balls by the, by the wide receivers. Are you guys working on that in practice? Are you doing something specifically to fix that? Yeah, hand placement for one, not tipping the ball up in the air. You know, sometimes when, when you go to catch, if you put the hands under the ball, now it has a chance to get tipped up in the air. But now, boom, if you put those thumbs together and catch it like such, now if I don't catch it, it's going to go down into the ground. You know, and so we've been working on those things, and, uh, and hopefully that will help us. Last one, Dan Perk. More. Romeo, there, there's conflicting reports out there about the status of a potential contract extension for Scott Pioli. Curious what your thoughts are on those reports. Well, contracts, the only contract I'm concerned about is mine, okay? <laughs> um, and Scott has to deal with his contract situation, whatever it might be, and I don't know what it is. Uh, and so, I mean, he will address it if, if he needs to. But I think there might be a team policy that contracts are not discussed, uh, but I'm not sure. Last one. Romeo, the way the season's gone, can you compare it to any time, like maybe your time in Cleveland? Like, it seems like, I know you're frustrated with the way it's gone, meaning like you're very close, but just the result's not there. Is, is this like as bad as it's been, like as a head coach, just like knowing like, hey, I'm trying to figure it out, but it's just not working? Or? Well, there are times in Cleveland that it wasn't this close, you know, uh, so it's been a little bit worse. Um, the, the thing about this team and about these players is that we were somewhat successful last year. Now, we've added some new players to the team, and that impacts the chemistry and, and everything that's going on, all right? But, um, but I think because we're in position to make plays, that those plays will start being, start getting made. And, and just like Justin Houston, he was in, he did what he was supposed to do. He was in position. He intercepted the ball, you know, and, and ran it across midfield. But, you know, we got the penalty on it. But he was in position. He made the play. So that's encouraging when you see a guy do what he's supposed to do. And like I told him today, if you just do what you're supposed to do, do your job first, then good things happen for us. And so that's what we're trying to impress upon them, that let's do your job first and then help out.